on CBS This Morning, a new alert about a massive scam involving criminals posing as IRS agents. It's something you need to know about with the filing deadline only a month and a half away. Chip Reed is outside the IRS headquarters in Washington to show us the plot that could unfold right on your phone. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. The people behind the scam are calling at least 10,000 Americans every week, and federal investigators say they are absolutely ruthless. Al Cadenhead is senior pastor at Providence Baptist Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. Last fall, he got a message on his cell phone from someone claiming to be with the IRS. Don't disregard this message. As delay in calling us back might end up into a legal mess for you. He did call back, and it was the beginning of a terrifying ordeal. This woman gave me her name and her badge number said that uh, she was informing me that uh, they were filing a warrant for my arrest. A warrant for your arrest? Yes, uh, for tax fraud. And she started listing all the things they were going to do. They were going to freeze my accounts. They were going to put a lien on my house. Was your heart pounding? Oh, my heart was racing. It was racing. I am, I am very afraid at that point. He did not believe he had done anything wrong, but the stakes were too high to fight. I don't want to cause embarrassment to my family, to my church. I'm retiring in a few months. This is not how I want to be remembered, being arrested. So he reluctantly followed orders. Again and again, he drove to his bank and withdrew money, then went to drugstores where he bought prepaid debit cards. Finally, he read the scammers the PIN numbers on the cards, all they needed to get the money. This went on for how long? From 8.30 till about, in the morning till about 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. On the phone the whole time? On the phone and the whole time, in my car. And in all, how much money did they get out of it? $16,000. This scam impacts everybody. I mean, we've had very, very educated and intelligent people fall for it. Tim Camus is a deputy inspector general with the Treasury Department, which is leading a multi-agency investigation. Where does this rank in the history of scams that you've had to deal with? It is the largest, most pervasive impersonation scam in the history of the agency. At least 366,000 people have reported receiving a call, and more than 3,000 of those have been fooled by the scam, giving up a total of $15.5 million. Even Camus received a call demanding money on his home phone. What did you tell them when they called you? I told them their day would come. I'm Officer Julie Smith from Internal Revenue Service. The perpetrators use technology that makes the caller ID show area code 202 for Washington, D.C., home of the IRS. But in fact, sources say the calls are really coming from a sophisticated crime ring overseas. Investigations of this nature take a long time. We're talking years. Potentially. As for Al Cadenhead, he wanted to just forget about it. So how did you feel when you realized you had been scammed? Very embarrassed. But he knew he had to do something to help other potential victims. Why have you decided to talk to us about this? The only benefit for me is that I have some satisfaction in knowing that maybe a few people can just hang up. So the IRS says if you get a call from someone claiming to be with the IRS, demanding immediate payment and threatening you with arrest, you are being scammed and you need to hang up the phone. They will probably call back again and again. You need to just keep hanging up. Gail? No matter how convincing they sound. Thank you, Chip. But you had good advice, Nora. Yeah, say, can I call you back? Yeah. What's your number? <laughs> What's your call number? Call my let, person. Yeah, or let me call my accountant first, make sure this sounds right. And I'll yeah. get back to you, but I'll people keep falling for it. Thank you, Chip.